version of the Today's Special Value, and I am so happy for you that you're watching right now because this is a portable power station. We cannot keep portable power stations in stock. The last one that we had cost $1,000 and sold out on a Saturday by 10 a.m. You're watching right now. You can only see this on QVC2. Here's your opportunity to, if the power goes out in your home, be able to not only plug in a light, we want that, maybe a fan. And then you go, well, I need to charge my phone so I can call and make sure that everyone else, else is okay. You can charge your phone too. Oh, you wanna, you know, look on your tablet? Yep, you can charge your tablet as well. All in this compact, really sleek, totally lightweight, even has a built-in handle, power station from Energy Go. Now, normally this would cost $285. We are at $230 as our today's bonus buy. That saves you about $55. Even better than that, everything's on five monthly easy payments right now, so you can get it home and try it out for $46 on any major credit card. And you have through the end of January, 2022 to return should you need to. Do you have some parents who you're worried about? They live in an area where there's a lot of power outages. Send them this with bill to ship to. Or on the other hand, maybe children. They're off in a dorm or in their first apartment and they need to have that power in case of emergency. Here you go with that peace of mind. E240989 is your item number. Again, $46 on Easy Pay to get it home. We have it in stock, we have it ready to ship, but I don't know what the case is gonna be later on in the day. I'm so excited to introduce you to Brett Hamilton. He is one of our tech experts, and we were talking on the phone, we were like, these things are like, every time you yeah. present one, it's gone that day. <laughs> maybe in that presentation. Yeah. So as a today's yeah. bonus buy, this is amazing. Yeah, and when you think about portable power and power stations and stuff like that, it's not the sexiest gift to give somebody for the holidays. It's like I equate it to giving socks and underwear, but socks and underwear, like the rest of that stuff, necessities, and a necessity for what situation? Well, as you mentioned, if the power goes out, it's not just the summer storms, the winter as well, the ice buildup and all that good stuff. But one thing, Terry, people don't think about when it comes to portable power and power stations is not just the lights and not just the fans and stuff, do you know that if your power goes out, as long as there isn't some sort of catastrophic uh, disaster within your cable or internet company, if you can get juice to your devices, including your cable modem, you can still get cable, you can still get internet, and to prove it to you, little magic trick right here. Ah. Guess what this is? I'm running my entire setup right now on the Energy Go. No, you have <laughs> I call to this have a suicide Wi-Fi. Well, here's the thing. Here's the cable modem right here from Xfinity, right? This is feeding these guys, right? But all of it right now is being powered by this device. And I've got a power strip plugged in. Uh, I have two PCs. I have two cameras. I have two uh, low wattage LED lights. And then that last block right there is the modem itself. So power goes out, bummer. You know, you don't go and, and, and power the refrigerator with this. You're not gonna turn your furnace or your heater on, but you can certainly stay productive and the same would apply to cable because this is the same box right here that would run to your television. So maybe you're not using the computers, you could use a television, but keep in mind too, everything that I've got plugged in here is using uh, about, about 150 watts. I mean, computers don't draw a lot. LED lights don't draw a lot, the cameras. Are you gonna power a studio in your house? No, you're not but I'm giving you a pretty good idea of what you can do with this thing aside from the obvious. And that's there, everything, you get you, you get a USB outputs, AC outputs. So look at the kind of things you can, you can plug in at the same time. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. And if you think about, uh, well, what do I plug in on a daily basis? Well, it's one of three things. It's usually one of two things. You're plugging a, a plug into the wall or you're using USB. And all of our tablets, all of our devices now are, are charging using USB. What is USB? Well, USB is the, the cable that came with your iPad or it came with your Fire tablet. And, and Terry can show you down there. Or I can show you with my close up as well. But you got two USB ports on there. You have two AC ports. AC is just you know a typical plug. There it is right there. Thanks, guys. So right over here, I'll show you guys. Um, I have something. I got a little surprise for you plugged into this. I'll show you that in a second. Two USB ports. That means all of your devices, like a tablet, like a phone, and then you've got two 
of your typical AC uh, devices as well, AC just meaning a plug. Now, anything that's universal that's got an AC block that you can pop off and US, use USB, you can do that as well. And as you saw from my setup there, with everything I've got plugged in now, I actually used a power strip. And it's all uh, about staying under those 300 watts. And I know the first question you're gonna ask me is, okay, well, what happens if I step over the line? What happens if I put too much in there? It's smart enough and it has surge protection inside there to just shut off. So if you're plugging in something that you shouldn't or you have too many devices plugged in, okay. it will all just kind of shut down and you go, okay, I get it. Now I got to unplug a couple things. Right. Experiment with it. Uh, is, is it a novelty item? No, it is not. And I think no. a lot of people go, well, I can live without portable power. I can live without charging my phone. Yeah, but look at everything that we have right there in a storm situation. And you go, well, what if in the summertime, I just need a fan to keep cool because the air is out or out in a warehouse, out in the garage, if you're going camping, all of those devices can go with you now. And now you have the ability to even keep track of how much juice you have left because essentially you have a, a gas tank right there that goes from 100% and trickles itself all the way down. Power went out. She's got her, uh, her device right there. She plugs it in. A television. Could you really power a TV at a tailgate? Years ago, that would cost you thousands and thousands of dollars. And it doesn't have to cost thousands and thousands of dollars to keep a beer cold in your <laughs> in your situation. In your trunk. Okay. Yeah, in your trunk or wherever it might be. But I want to show you guys something cool. So here's the TV with uh, Fire TV plugged into it. Let me put something on the screen here. Um, I'm running all of this off of this. And I think you can see that I've got two cords plugged in. I know it's kind of messy here. One is the Fire TV. I'm using a, uh, a power plug for that. The other one is the TV itself, and I'm using this little, uh, I call it the cigarette lighter, you know, that you used to have in your, in your car. We'll call it the DC. So all of this, just as you saw uh, at our little tailgate party right there, is happening courtesy of the energy. You've got it on the go. And listen, Wi-Fi is everywhere now. Terry and I were talking about this off the air. We were joking. We're like, well, you probably can't watch, you know, fire TV at a campground. And then she's like, yeah, most campgrounds have. They have probably internet have. Now. So, <laughs> yeah, so now, so instead of shutting everything off and escaping from the world, I guess if you need you it, it's still to. there. Yeah, yeah, and you don't have to. Well, I always wild. just think of emergency situations. And that and that's so funny because I was thinking about, I guess I was thinking old school because I'm like, yeah. well, I guess you could plug in a TV. But if you don't have cable anymore, what can you see? Well, now you yeah. can plug in your modem and actually see television. So if you want to get the news, like what's happening, why is the power out, who else's power is out, you can watch your TV. And at the same time, be charging your phone that's always at 1% when you need it to be able right. to call and check on other people too. And then you go to the tailgating and it's super fun. I saw they had a crock pot plugged in. They yeah. had their like game time chili going on <laughs> and the game. You don't even need to be anywhere right. near the game to have that tailgating experience. This little yep. refrigerator is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I, I want to buy I one need. of these. This should be, you know, a, a, an wife. accessory sale. Um, yeah, my wife Meg bought one of those to put like makeup and stuff like that. She has it in the bathroom there. And you can put like, a, you know, a four or six pack of water. Well, the fridge is up to you. That That's on you. That does not come with the device. But I'll tell you what, you're going to find ways to use this thing when you're not using it for the emergency. And I think a lot of right. people go, well, I need portable power if something goes bad, if something goes wrong. Well, look at all these examples right here. And again, to be able to use this in pretty much any situation, because keep in mind, you're charging it up. The gas tank will show you that it's at 100 percent. Then you can take it anywhere you want. And that could be the great outdoors or it could be the garage or it could be the office or it could be someplace where you don't have access to the power that you need. And boom, when the lights go out, as long as you have your energy, as long as you have your 300 portable near you, look at this, flicked on the light. Is it gonna power your entire house? Of course not, it's not going to, but it'd be great for tailgating. It would be great for a camping situation. It'll be great for you fill in the blank because yeah. you're, like I said, you're gonna find different ways to use this thing and go, okay, then it's not just about, you know, when, when havoc strikes and all of a sudden, you know, we're without power for, for weeks or days. Can, right. you, can you power an entire house? No, do you have $10,000? Well, then you can go get a generator because that's what a whole home generator typically runs. And how often do we need that? You know, where you need it for days on end. A nice storm rolls in. Be nice to know that you can still have some of the uh, the creature comforts with this. Well, and I think that's why it's so incredibly popular. Any power mm -hmm. bank, portable power bank that we've had has completely sold out within a presentation, yeah. certainly yep. within a today's special value day. We have this one here in stock. And not only that, we made it a today's bonus buy because we know that you're looking for them. We know that you want them and you need them. 
So we took $55 off. We have it in stock. We had it, have it ready for you to go. We took $55 off. We put it on one of our best easy payment plans. So $45.99 on any major credit card. You don't even have to have a special cue card for that. To get it home, get that peace of mind going. And like Brett said, would we all like to ha be able to have our house just be able to completely, you know, turn back on when the power goes out? Yeah, but do you have an extra $10,000 to make that happen? No. This is a really affordable way to have that peace of mind to be able to plug in the things that you need right away in that emergency. The light, the fan, the charging your phone, the television to find out what's happening, and your Wi-Fi to stay connected and to stay working. Maybe you're working from home. So many people are. So that allows you to not stop working from home. Maybe you have some big, you know, uh, Zoom meeting happening or some paper due or some project due at work. Just because the power went out doesn't mean that you have to stop working. And look how compact, easy this is. I feel like if this saves you from one emergency, it's well worth the money that you're spending today. But like Brett said, it's not just about an emergency. You can find so many different ways to use this and you can find so many things to plug into it. That's the other thing. It's not just, you know, a little portable power that you can plug one thing into. You c it has two regular plugs, two USB plugs. Brett, how much can we put into this at once? Yeah, so you're talking about 300 watts. And I know many of you go, well, I have yeah, no like, idea. What does what, that mean? <laughs> whatever it might be. And that, and that was part of the experiment of pulling off this, this little magic tri trick here and powering my studio today. What I did was I, I, I got a device that allows me to read that and also just looked at what the wattage was on each one of the devices to make sure that this is something that I could actually pull off on live TV. I was pleasantly surprised to find out that the majority of the electronic devices that we use now don't draw a lot. I mean, don't quote me on this, but from what I remember, each laptop was about 25 watts of draw off of that 300, so we'll call this 50. Uh, we have two lights plugged in. Those, believe it or not, only registered at around 11 watts each. What? Wow. Yeah. And then I have two robotic cameras here. One you can't see because it's the one shooting me right now. And then we have the other one that I was using for my close-up. Then on top of, and, and by the way, I think those were 15 watts each, something like that. Boring, boring, all these numbers boring. What does it mean though? I'm barely chipping away at those 300 watts, and all of it is being uh, done not only by the power station itself, but the reason you can see me on TV right now is because I've got my Xfinity uh, modem plugged in there as well, and that thing barely draws anything at all. So as I mentioned at the top, if you're just tuning in, people think that when the power goes out, they lose cable, they lose internet. Yes, if Xfinity or Spectrum or whatever your cable provider is, is down at the main office, like they don't have any juice to send it out, Yes, you're gonna lose all that stuff. But if you have one of these, try it the next time your power goes out. Go down to wherever your modem lives, your magic box that comes from your cable company, unplug it from the wall, plug it into here, and then see if you can't get back on your computer or your tablet. I laugh because it's just incredible that for under $300, we're now able right. to bring all of our devices and all that good stuff back to life without having to hire an engineer or an electrician or have a bunch of wires and breakers and all that other stuff. Or have this huge thing, like the yep. original exactly. computers took up a room. Look how yep. tiny this is. I don't know, it weighs 6.6 .6 pounds and it has the yep. built-in handle. There is, can we do a little tour of, of yeah. everything that you're seeing here? Because there's nothing in the back. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, pretty much what you see is, is what you're getting. So upper left-hand corner, that black cord that's coming in there, that's powering right there. That's powering the device, meaning that's running on a charge or charging the device right now. Down below, you've got a DC port, and I equate that to the old cigarette lighter charger thing, whatever it might be. Lots of devices for that. That portable refrigerator, the TV that I was just showing you. In the center there, it's labeled USB for a reason because you've got two USB ports. USB, probably the most common, there you go, the most common cable we, we touch every single day because every phone and every tablet and all that stuff all runs off of USB. So you have two places to plug in there. And then to the right of that, two traditional AC plugs. So those are the lamps. Those are the fans. Those are, you know, what, whatever your, your device might be. Something that, that, I, that I'm glad you have uh, showing right here is that that's plugged into the wall right now, meaning the power station is getting a charge and it's running all of these devices at the same time. And the reason I'm showing you that is because you can use this 
as a charging device while it's plugged in, meaning you, you know, it doesn't have to be something catastrophic Smart. and you don't have to lose power, whatever it might be, in the overnight, you could go ahead and, and charge uh, all of your devices.